boys and girls. It's so good to be back with you today. Miss Donna here and I have your Bible lesson for today. Our Bible lesson today is from the book of Joshua and we're going to talk about Joshua at Jericho and the great thing that God did for the people of Israel. Here's our picture, our Bible story picture for today and you can see the people walking around the walls of Jericho. Our Bible verse for today is love God and always do what he says. And that's from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 20. Love God and always do what he says. Now I have the Bible open now to the book of Joshua. And that's where our Bible story comes from today. And we always want to use our Bible. Remember that everything in the Bible is true. So God had promised the people of Israel that he would give them a city. The name of the city was Jericho, and he was going to let the Israelite people take over the city of Jericho. But it had a large, heavy, tall wall around it, and they didn't know how they were going to get through that wall. But God had a plan, and God told Joshua what he wanted the people to do. So Joshua told the people, and the people listened and obeyed. God said he wanted the people to walk around the walls of the city for six days in a row. And he asked them to be very quiet and not say anything. So they were very quiet and they walked around the city. How many times? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times they walked around the wall of the city of Jericho. Now the soldiers went first, and next the priest. There were seven priests, and the priest had trumpets, and they were going to blow those trumpets at a special time. They were just waiting to hear the word from Joshua. So the soldiers walked around the wall, the priests walked around the wall, and then the people walked around the wall. How many times? Six times. Six times they walked around that wall. Very good. Thank you for listening so well. The priests carried with them the Ark of the Covenant, and the Ark of the Covenant is what contained the Ten Commandments. And while the people carried the Ark of the Covenant with them, it made them, it helped them remember that God is always with them. So that was very, very important. Now, on day number seven, something different happened. On day number seven, the people got up and they walked around the wall of the city. And Joshua once again said, okay, be very quiet. Don't say any words at all until I tell you. And after they had walked around the city the seventh time, now we're up to seven times, Joshua told the priest to blow the trumpet and the police blew the trumpet and he told the people to shout and they shouted as loud as they could and you know what happened next that wall came tumbling down oh my goodness that must have been a sight so the people were able to go in and they took all the silver and gold and bronze from the city and do you know what they did with it they brought it back and they gave it to the priest for God's work. That is an amazing story, boys and girls. Do you know what that story tells us? You know, this is, this is a true story. It comes from the book of Joshua, and it's a true story. It's in our Bible in the Old Testament. And that story helps us to understand that God is always with us, and he always does what he says he will do. So God is always with us and he always does what he says he will do. That's an important thing for us to remember. Now, moms and dads, you have an activity sheet that accompanies this Bible lesson today. And on the activity sheet, there's an activity where your children can build their own wall, march around it and knock it down. And as you do that, talk about the lesson for today and help your children understand that God loves us, that he's always with us, and that he always keeps his promises. 
Boys and girls, we love you. We hope to see you back in Sunday school very, very soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.